Ah, hello, Beth. What are you watching, buddy? What's this on the TV? Another video by Turbo Alligator. Oh, huh. let's press play. This is a gibbon, and this is gibbon tag. A gibbon tag? That looks really good. Hang on. I think, Ben, I think we should DM Turbo Alligator, see if we can get a link. Was that an agreement? Alright, let's do that now. Alright, well, um, just downloaded the game. <laughs> First thoughts, really. I mean, there's it's a lot easier to walk run than normal gorilla tag. There's no vibrations in the controllers, which is really weird. It's kind of yeah. And then like my first uh, instinct was to try snap turning, but there isn't any snap turning, so like it kind of confused me a little bit. But I guess that's coming in a future update. Now, let's see, can I? Oh yeah. I'm going out the map, boys. Oh. Unless Turbo added slippery walls, which, oh no, I don't think they are slippery. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try escape the map. Come on, come on. The thing is, I ain't even that good of a wall runner in Gorilla Tag. Oh, um... Okay, so I'm gonna try get out there. I doubt I'll be able to get back in. The, uh, jump boost is kinda different to normal Gorilla Tag, but... What can you do, I guess? It's about to turn to night, so I'm just gonna go over into this, uh, handy little cave. Oh yeah, I didn't show you the swimming yet. So you don't swim, it's just like zero gravity whilst you're under the water. That's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the cave before it turns to night, which is happening very rapidly. Is that I see light in the cave. Oh, this thing. Does it work yet? I saw this, um... No, still doesn't work. We're going into the sewer system. Whoa, it all went blue. What? Oh, what are them things called? Oh, the door shut behind me. What are them things called where it's like a space that you're familiar with, but like is really spooky and scary? I can't remember. I saw this in the video, this ball. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> it, it turned to night, I'm scared some mutant rat is coming for me. I've played my fair share of VR horror, okay? I have my reasons of being scared. Oh, what's this way? Oh, it just sh sh cl uh, closes off. I guess we're going this way then. It kind of reminds me of an underground train station. Is anyone else getting them kind of vibes? Yeah, no, I ain't going back in there till the day. <laughs> but does, is anyone else getting them same vibes? Like London Underground, I've never been on it, but like, I'm sure everyone's seen pictures. It kind of looks like that, or is it, I guess it's a sewer, but... Anyway, <laughs> once this, um turns today, I'll go into the other bit. That kind of scared me then. You see my shadow. Whoa. This monkey's coming to haunt your dreams. Whoa. I hear a wasp in my room. <laughs> that is not good. Yeah, it... Mm. Alright, well there is currently a wasp in my room. And there's lights on my headset.
Alright, I'm pretty sure my not so little wasp problems dealt with. They were two great big things, mate, and I tell you big, I mean bloody big, they were massive. These things, yeah, oh, they gotta be like the size of a pound coin. Two of them just flying around, doing their thing, yeah. I, um, uh, take my headset off, only see one of them. <laughs> And then, um, get him basically dealt with. And then his mate decides, oh, here I am on the windowsill. Um, so yeah. <laughs> they, they definitely were not drowned in about a litre of fly spray. And, yeah. I dealt with that, I, I think, pretty well. <laughs> I'm sure there was better ways to deal with them, but like... Nah, my way is the best way.